Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Mythgard in Middle-Earth. This is Corey Olson, the Tolkien Professor, joined always by my... Um... Hey, Grifflet, get out of the... Guy, that's what I thought. Yeah, get out of the potatoes. Seriously, I think he's trying to stow away because he wants to go to Dunharrow. Uh, uh, so I, we'll get there, Grifflet. We'll get there. We've got things to do around here first. Hey, good morning, everybody. I am glad to be back, and I am excited because today we are returning to Landscape Quests, which means... <clears throat> we're back to doing storylines I've never done before, which is super exciting. Um, I, of course, have gone through the Epic Quest line, uh, almost exclusively the Epic Quest line, um, all the way up uh, through the Black Gate and just a little bit past the Black Gate um, with uh, Wigand, my primary uh, alt. <clears throat> but... Um, uh, uh, yeah, so, um, but Griffith, of course, is doing all the landscape quests that Wigand had to skip in his haste uh, to get through the, like, main central storyline. Uh, so, we are now off the main central storyline, at least for a while. Um, yeah, we're being, we're sent to Underharrow, so we've got uh, a bunch of other things to do there. Uh, <clears throat> all right. And um, I, lo <laughs> I love the dancing kids. I think that the dancing kid was one of the things that was making uh, Griffith a little envious. Like, you know, sure, they get to go to Dunharrow. He doesn't get to do go to Dunharrow. Uh, so we're going to figure out what's going on in Entwade. Of course, we're right next to the river again. So we've kind of backtracked from Edoras. And now we're going to see what's really going on in this town. Can I say I'm interested in this two-story house? Somebody was, like, super ambitious here. Also, I think, is that a louver in the roof? Does smoke come out of that? It's not quite central enough for that, I would think. It looks more like a skylight. But whoever made this house had adventurous ideas uh, from a Rohiric perspective, right? Very non-angular. It still has steep roofs thatched roofs but the stonework the beams the overall architectural design quite different uh, there's a, some kind of architectural free thinker here I'm interested in the little cupola sort of cupola on top of uh, this is this the mead hall it's an extremely modest mead hall the shy and retiring mead hall here at Entwade. It's just a tiny little town. But it's pretty cute. Everybody's getting ready to go. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, you're right, JJ, that like even just like the mere fact that it's uh, they're making their buildings and like this barn Look at this. I mean, this barn is like three times as large as the Mead Hall. They do things oddly here in Entwade. So first they build this barn, which is massive, right? And then... They, okay, all right, I was going to say, and then they don't even put doors in it, which was an oversight for sure. Okay, there they are. Oh, and laundry. Have we even seen laundry elsewhere? I don't remember seeing a clothesline. Well, there we go. Man, what a... And this looks like grain storage attached to it. Massive barn. A town who values their horses more than their mead, that's for sure. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, so uh, JJ says, interesting that the town is called Antwade. Do you suppose they view Ents as being historical, or do they believe their town was named for a fairy tale? I, well, I mean, the Entwade, the Entwade is, uh, uh, the, I mean, that seems to be, um, I'm trying to remember the exact context. I'm sure somebody, JJ, I think you have an e-text. Could you look it up? I think the word appears in the text, Entwade. I can't remember the exact context. Um, but they either, they, um. Yeah, Ent means giant in Rohiric. My suspicion, Phil, is that, uh, NJJ, is that their use of the word Ent would be kind of vague. It would probably have, like, vaguely mythic um, overtones, but I don't think that it's something that they would... Like, it's not like they have a concrete idea attached to it. Um, I... Like... Um, like the word centaur or something, right? Which in evokes a, a very clear picture of a half horse, half man. Um, I don't think when they, when a, you know, your common, like, you know, Rohiric dude on the street says, and that he's immediately picturing something that looks just like tree beard. You know what I mean? Um, uh, there we go. JJ, thank you. I knew it was there. Uh, Amir says to Aragorn, when your quest is achieved or is proved vain, return with the horses over the Antwade to Medeseld, the high house in Edoras where Theoden sits. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, uh, get, get ready to ride to the Antwade. That's what I thought. It's what they call the river. Um, yeah, exactly. It's what they call the river. Uh, so... Um, so the town, the name of the town, they wouldn't even be thinking about ants. They would be thinking about the river and is the river named after, you know, the ants, though they, they call Fangorn the Antwood, right? So the, to the Rohirrim, clearly the word ant in these, con I mean, it's, it's a place name, like they're going to associate it, you know, and you, you say ant and they're going to be thinking like, what? Oh yeah, the Antway, the Antwood. Um, most of them will probably have like forgotten why it's even called that, right? It's not that they're associating it with, I think, with particular, um, with particular stories, uh, uh that is, you know, particular concepts even, uh, but that they are, um, uh, it's, you know, they're just, they're just na names. They accept, as I said, I, I doubt that that word really evokes a, a concrete image. Uh, in the minds of the of the Rohirrim, though clearly there are still children's stories about the shepherds of the trees, um, but I wonder even to what extent they, you know, the, the words of Gandalf to Theoden suggest that um, they don't even really think about it. Um, it's not a question of like, you know, they have considered and rejected the idea that ants are real. Um, it's just like they tell stories about it and they don't even think about it. Um, yeah, yeah, yes, uh, B4, uh, like Giant's Causeway, a mythic name, but we just, uh, see it meaning big, right, exactly, that's just exactly the kind of thing, I would think. All right, anyway, let's get back, let's get to the quests here. Let's see, what do you have to say, Edric, Thane of Entwade? All right. Uh, thanks for that. Entwade has been the victim of many assaults as of late, Grifflet. For my part, my men and I have kept the people from harm and our homes largely intact. However, in the past week, the attacks have ceased. It does not take one well-versed in strategy to presume that a larger attack will soon fall upon us. I have been busy helping my wife prepare the people to travel to Aldberg, and any new information of our foe's whereabouts has not yet been delivered to me. Oh, that's right. They're going to Aldberg. They're not going to Dunharrow. Of course, wrong area for that. Of course, Grifflet obviously wants to go to Aldberg as well, but he'll get his wish, I think, sooner rather than later. We'll probably get there before we get to uh, Dunharrow, I'd think. Okay, and any new information of our foe's whereabouts has not yet been delivered to me. If you would, speak to my guards near the Entwash and in town. They may have more insight on the dangers we'll be left to deal with once my people depart. Okay. Oops, wait, you, you got more? You do. You appear to be a hail burglar. Well, yeah, you know, reasonably hail. 
in modestly good health. As my wife makes ready to escort my people south to safety, I would ask something of you. The road south will lead my people to Aldberg, but our foes lurk too near. The Uruks that stalk the fields of Kingstead have done much to harry my people and have been so bold as to attack Endwade itself several times in the past weeks. Now I have heard talk that they ride along the road to the south and slay passers-by before claiming their goods. My people and my wife cannot meet such a fate. Ride against them and clear the road, oh dear. Mounted combat, but that's okay. Mounted combat on the plains is not so bad as it is in forests where it is almost intolerable. Okay, Leoflad, what do you say? Yeah, your husband sent me all the way to you from two feet away. <laughs> uh, okay. It has been a great undertaking to uproot the people of Entwade. At my husband's request, I shall aid in escorting them to safety in Aldeburg to the south. Many have packed for weeks now, but we cannot afford to wait any longer. I protested when Edric bade me stay in Aldeburg as well, but if I cannot return to Kingstead, then I shall aid the people of the Eastfold during my stay. Truly, they face great troubles as well. Okay. As for you, my people are as ready as they are like ever to be. Would you do me a great favor and bid them join me here? Huh, okay. All right, well, that's easy enough. Sure, I can do that. And I see there's a dude over here. Hang on a second. Hey there, dude over here. Well, there's a pillager like right there. Okay, no, he's a warrior. I'm not interested in him. Okay. Hang on. Coming over here to you, sir. You see that there's a, like an Urukai standing literally over listening overhearing our converse over listening does one over listen and if one doesn't over listen why not hi there scout oh look at that oh we've got all kinds of vector quests you're grifflet are you not yeah yeah the famous burgor wow shucks i ran into gandalf the gray upon the plains not long ago and he asked me to convey a message to you if i should see you he said he would be in Edera shortly to check on things there. Perhaps you will catch him if you make haste. What? Oh, you're the vector quest in case I didn't make it all the way to Edoras. I had the, or in case I ignored the epic bidding me go there. Okay. Well, I'm not going to worry about that one so much. Go to the East Fold. Gandalf Greyham wishes to... Wait. Okay, so I have to talk to Gandalf either way in order to... Uh, so how does that work? Gandalf's already left Edoras. Will he show up again if I... Yeah, Cobalt Warlord, you're probably right. It's not really... It would seem counter in, uh, indicative to success if... Uh, you're a famous burglar. That's, uh, it's not, doesn't seem, you're right, like a really a very good thing. Okay, let's um, tell you what. First thing we'll do is we'll clear the road south, then we'll gather the people and tell them to take off. Because, you know, let's make sure the people are safe first. Right, then streaming is a bad thing? Well... You know, but fortunately, nobody watching the stream can affect Grifflet's burglarious career. Uh, so, that, no, hang on a second. Grifflet, do you have any idea where you're going? I don't think you do. Uh, see, look, you're going the wrong way. The road south. So, where is the road? Step one, find the road. Step two, go south. Okay, fine. I think the road is over here. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we're looking for pillagers. Hang on. Let me equip myself with... Oh, hang on. Whoa, look at this. We got, uh, we got more, more traits to trade. No, we don't. I need another one. Okay, fine. Um, let me equip myself with a lore question. Let's see. Okay, hey, so uh, uh, Bill Stickers had asked, this, uh, had asked this question a while back, but it's a really interesting question. I haven't been able to get to it. So um, he's pointing out that the helms of the guards in the citadel of Minas Tirith, of course, have the wings of seabirds because the Numenorians came over the sea. Um, the sea kings is, you know, a, a thing. Right. 
Uh, Pippin's helm, on the other hand, has raven wings. Do ravens have any meaning for Gondor as well? That is a fantastic question. Uh, no, no. I mean, uh, so like yes and no. Um, uh, yes, they have significance, and you can tell because Pippin's helm has raven's wings. But do I know why or what that significance is? No, no, I, I have no idea. Um, uh, th one is tempted to say that it's, um, you know, a, uh, a sort of color coordination thing. I mean, you know, black is the color and raven's wings are black, but obviously they're going to have more symbolic significance than that. Um, the only place where... Um, you know, ravens really kind of come in as a, uh, you know, with like cultural significance is with the dwarves um, of Erebor. You know, that's, you know, there we get the, you know, the history of the ravens, uh, you know, the, 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 the relationship between the ravens and the, uh, and the people. Uh, we don't get anything like that any indication of anything like that. I'm trying to remember even any stray reference uh, to ravens um, in Gondor or Minas Tirith, and I'm not remembering any. Uh, the fact that those helms have raven's wings is literally the only thing I can recall uh, that connects ravens and Minas Tirith. So there must be a story. I feel confident in saying that there is a story uh, that I don't know, you know, that we're never told basically. Um, but I would be surprised if it were a story like unto the dwarf story. Um, because, hmm, I don't know why I say that. The dwarves had, you know, a sort of friendship with the ravens, right? And they, um, uh, they used clearly used them for communication. I mean, the 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 ravens were their allies and servants, um, as we see uh, still uh, with Roach um, in the Hobbit. I don't. It's certainly possible that a similar thing could happen in Gondor. Um, you know, the use of ravens as messengers is, is uh, you know, hardly something invented by George R. R. Martin. Um, but um, okay, hang on a second. Why are those pillagers not counting? I killed a whole bunch of them right now. And were, they, were those other ones not pillagers? Oh, those were black arrows. Oh, they're separate things. I have to be more choosy. Um, okay. Anyway. Black arrows, though. That's kind of interesting. Speaking of, like, Erebor references. So, yeah. So, I mean, the answer is I, I really don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of trying to think it through, and, and but I can't remember any indication of, uh, you know, any hints of... Um, any hints of Gondor of Gondorian connections to uh, to ra to ravens? So it's it's interesting. As, as as I say, I suspect there must be, um, but the only reason for ravens' wings that I can think of, I mean, that appears to me, you know, sort of trans is is the is is fashion you know it's, it's like the the you know uh in the subject of like outfit coordination essentially um can i say i really admire how these pillagers don't go just like herring off across the landscape uh, okay i spoke too soon apparently but I mean, they either like stand still or ride gently around in a circle with me. And that's great. Oh, there's a warg after me too. 
what is this one is obviously drunk however i spoke too soon about the i think or maybe he's just desperately attempting to escape he sees his fate oh well that's inconvenient Maybe he was working in tandem with that org. Ha ha! You cannot stop carry on. All right, now I've just got this roving warg problem okay okay JJ the 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 use of the word Raven describing Faramir's hair color that's um that's uh interesting. Yeah, no, I, I don't think there's a... Right, Theoden's voice sounds like a raven compared to... Yeah, no, I just... I don't recall references to the birds, other than, again, that the very reference we're trying to explain or contextualize. Um... Absolutely. Um... And yes, uh, uh, Wagner, did you ask a question earlier on? If you did, I missed it. Uh, this often happens because uh, there's a lot going on here. Uh, but um, uh, yeah, I didn't see a question from you, Wagner. Uh, I'd be happy to answer one if uh, I see it. Uh, Kobold Warlord, yeah, there is a part two coming uh, from my Wired Q&A. Uh, that was, uh, that was, that was only, that was only half of it, uh, that they put out. Okay, the Uruks have been fighting with great tenacity, so I'm glad that the riders along the road have been quelled. Oh, totally quelled. Yeah, it's utterly clear right now. I have to say, this kind of quest, like, don't ignore that one, riding right there. Um, it's one of the things that I, I, I find, uh, awkward, uh, about these kinds of quests, you know, the like clear the land of these things quests, uh, you know, when it, when they're like respawning all around you constantly, it, it feels very unsatisfying. Um, okay. All right. So I did that. Now I'm going to go. Now it's time to uh, help with the gathering of the folks. So uh, quick, we only have a narrow window, folks, uh, before they all respawn. So let's get a move on, shall we? Anybody want to go to Aldberg? Grafflet wants to go to Aldberg, but he's going to wait patiently. Hey there, dude. Hey, inhabitant. Beckoning. All right. There is little that I love more than the present participles on progress bars. Oh. Thane Edric, I was going to beckon you, but Thane Edric wishes to know what has become of our foes. The Uruk still ride along the plains, and the king has done not to drive them off. He stripped us of most of our men, and soon we shall be even fewer when Leoflod and the rest depart. The Uruk circle us like vultures, and there is no telling when they shall strike at us next, or if they direct their wrath towards Middlemead. I, Middlemead is a wonderful name. That is all I know of what is to come. The people must make ready to leave as soon as they are able. Agreed. Agreed, Ordgar. Okay, so I guess I'm, 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 I'm also interviewing guards. I've forgotten what my action was meant to be there. Okay. Yeah, Phil, I agree with you. The hyphen, raven wings, um, I, so I think the point there, sorry, sorry if I'm only picking a part of the conversation there, uh, but um, 
the idea was that, um, or the question was, like the word raven is clearly used as an adjective, just as a color descriptor. Um, in wh whom am I supposed to beckon? Is the the guy doing laundry? No. Oh. Oh. This lovely damsel hiding under the eaves, watching the guy do laundry. Okay. Got to beckon. Doing some beckoning. Fetch your belongings. Yep. Okay. Great. Great. Anyway, um, so yes, raven is used as an adjective, obviously, there uh, in those passages uh, that we saw. But I agree with you, Phil. Uh, raven wing, if ra raven wings is hyphenated, um, this, I believe, is exactly why Tolkien does as much hyphenation as he does, uh, is in order to convey differences exactly like this. Um, so, yes, yes, I do agree um, that, uh, what an adorable chicken coop. I hate to interrupt you. You're making a little vent, a little breathing vent for them on the side? That's, don't nail it shut. Are you battening down the vent? Were they very bad? And you're, well, they're open to the sides. They're not going to suffocate. You don't really need a vent. Well, yeah, because you can close them in. What a snug little coop. And a little hatch door over here. So you can reach in for the eggs. So well designed. And a little ramp up in from the yard. Oh man, you have the best chicken coop in Rohan here. This is wonderful. But but uh, nevertheless, come on. Aldberg, Aldberg. Aldberg needs a good chicken coop consultant. Okay, how many how many was that? I still got another still got another person to beckon. Anyway, yeah. So Tolkien does this a lot. Um, you'll see a lot of hyphenated phrases uh, like that uh, in Tolkien's work. And um, one of the, and this is one of the primary reasons when, when he wants to indicate the difference between a noun, which is merely modified by an adjective and in a, you know, a two noun or an adjective noun combination, which form a thing like as if it were a phrase that is being used to translate like, like something that there would be a to totally different word for right so like it's one thing to say you know he had hair and his hair is black right but like black hair is not necessarily a concept it's not necessarily a word um, such as a word that might be a single different noun like they might have a separate noun for black hair and a separate noun for you know uh, gold hair. Um, not to say that no language could have that, but uh, but that's the that's the kind of thing that he's uh, that he's suggesting there. So yes, I believe that Raven Wings is designed. You know, it's 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 not just ring wings, and they happen to be black, but these are Raven Wings. Um, that's a that's a, a unified concept. The unification of the concept is what the hyphen uh, denotes there, and it's one of the reasons why I uh, you know. People, all right, you're going to, all right, you're just, man, he's chopping wood and don't interrupt him, man. Fine. Um, but um, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I've heard people talk about, you know, the inconsistency of Tolkien's usage of hyphens. Um, and I think that they're misunderstanding. Uh, there, he has a function for this. There is a reason uh, for it. Um, but Tolkien is a language guy. He's a philologist. And so sometimes it's not that he's inconsistent. It's just that sometimes he makes his own rules because the way uh, it, like the problem isn't that his usage is inconsistent. It's that he considers the normal usage either inconsistent or wrong and deviates from it. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> JJ says perhaps it's referring to the verb raven from which we get ravenous. Uh, no, I, 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 I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. I certainly doubt, for instance, that, uh, Faramir's hair is like, 
roving around the countryside devouring all that it can see, for instance. <laughs> it has been long since I have spoken with Thane Edric. He's right over there. He's like a hundred yards away from you. Uh, what's Is there a dispute? You know, have you sworn a vow of some kind? Uh, there seems to be some, some serious internal... Um, you know, dysfunction here in Entwade, but whatever. It's a small town. Dude. Anyway, okay. While it is true that the relative peace has held, I fear it will soon end. During my post a few days ago, I spied orcs across crossing the Entwash, with much difficulty, mind you, passing on to the shore of Kingstead. These orcs look different, and they do not bear the markings of the White Hand. Moreover, they appear to be fleeing from the farmstead nearby. Perhaps Reeve Fostred is as brutal as I have heard it told. Yeah, well... I am not one to believe that an orc can know fear, so I am certain we have not seen the last of them. Thane Edric surely knows not of this, and he must be advised about such troubles. Ah, uh, the unintended consequences of Fostred's savagery is uh, driving Ents uh, across the river and over to here. Okay. Okay, uh... You never did understand the setup of this town. What's the use of this wall and its towers? Well, you know, when you look at... We've got the bridge, you know. Of course, the river is like a foot deep. This is just a pool in the river. So it's, you know, kind of a convenience, but whatever. Um, you know, there are rocks over there and there are rocks over here. I mean, this is a... You know, the gap. But, I mean, it's not like it seems like it'd be really difficult to go around if you really needed to. Okay. Um, danger in silence. Okay, so there's another dude. Anrod that I need to talk to? I guess? Hey, all of the quest rings are on fire. I thought it was just the epic ones that were on fire. But these are not epic quests, and they're on fire, the rings. Hmm. Okay. So let's see, where's this last guard that I need to talk to? Is he on a tower? Oh, wait, there he is. Yeah, he's outside the walls. There he is. Okay, Anrod. You guys are real. You guys are ready over here. Okay, the Orakai have roamed in from both east and west, and I fear that they have stolen the horses of the Broad Acres in their travels. I fear that they are responsible for Middlemead's silence as of late as well, though I know Magla would not allow such foes to come close to his people. Ah, well, the troubles facing Antwade are numerous enough. None shall be safe until the roads are cleared of their kind, and of that I am sure Thane Edric knows. Ah, uh, that is true. That is true. Okay, all right. Now we're ready to go back and talk to both Edric and Leoflot again. It is time to depart. But first, let's say goodbye to Leoflot. Okay, you allowed me a chance to finish with other preparations, and now it appears that everyone is here. Keeping them at my side will likely prove more challenging, but worry not, for I have handled far worse. I'm sure you can handle it, Leia Flood. That's excellent. Okay, and Edric, what do you say? More foes rally around our lands even now. And with such little time before my people depart, we shall have to find and strike at these threats as soon as we are able, for only then will my people find safe passage. Okay, I agree. Let's find and destroy threats. All right, I helped them in their preparations. You have done well. <laughs> He's so grumpy. With these threats identified and my people prepared for the journey, they can set off. 
You have saved me a great deal of time and provided my people the safe passage they so dearly needed. The journey will take some time. Oh, well, they're all going to respawn then. Uh, but they will find the surest safety within Aldberg. As for those threats to the north and south, I have much more to ask of you. Okay. No, no worries. I won't go far. Ooh, I get a reinforced quaff of Kingstead. Is that the medium one? Or the fortified quaff. Um, I think I want the reinforced. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm not really going to put it on, I think. My people stand ready. I do not wish that for them to delay any longer, for the sooner they depart, the sooner I can turn my efforts to defending Entweid once again. If you will allow me a few moments to say farewells to my people, yep, yeah, no, no, and my beloved Leoflod, I'll give you some privacy there, I shall find you after they begin their journey. Leoflod is a strong woman of this, I am sure, and she will know how to handle things should any trouble arise on their journey. These new troubles my men spoke of, they are greatly concerning. I worry that the White Hand rallies for a great assault. Our foes shall not break Entwade, not while I draw breath, but I fear the folk upon the plains. The captain of my guard may not know of such threats, as he too has been distracted by the bustle of my people, but he must be told, for the time to act draws near. Speak to him in the Mead Hall. Okay, great. Looking forward to going into the Mead Hall. All right, let me see your tiny, quaint little Mead Hall. This is cute. I like the two fire pit thing. It's going to make that uh, little cupule a little even more uncomfortable, but no food, <clears throat> only weapons to be polished. Who is this guy? Giefel? Isn't he the dude I need to talk to? No, apparently not. Nice tapestry. I like it. I was like, what is that black thing? Oh, it's the shadow of his chair. Oh, is he all the way upstairs? Hang on, let's explore. Who are you? Womar? What are you doing up here? Waiting for somebody to, like, play cards with you at this cute little card table? Oh, here you are. Great place from which to ambush folks coming into the meat hall. This is a nice little, well, not exactly balcony. Hang on, hang on, dude. I'm going to go up. No, I'm not going to go up, apparently. Do the stairs actually end, or is it just me? No, they don't. Oh, I can't get through the hatch. Oh, well. <clears throat> Sirik. All right, Sirik. You bring ill tidings, traveler. I knew of a great many threats in Kingstead, including the Uruks to the north and west, but these orcs have crossed the shore. That have crossed the shores. They complicate the already wide front of Entwade. We will need to deal with such things soon. I will speak with my men of what is to be done to defend our settlement, and you should acquaint yourself with the map and notes over on the table while we wait for Edric's return. He will have much to say to Leoflad before he bids her farewell, so take as much time as you need. When you are able, speak to Womar, for he will be happy to talk to anyone as seasoned as yourself and to start his card game. Maps and notes. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we can do here. Examining maps and notes. Okay, the notes are primarily comprised of terst unsent missives to Thane Magla of Middlemead and Reeve Fostred of Snowborn, but one in particular calls for able-bodied men to ride to Theoden King's side in Westfold. The map is heavily marked, with numerous forces being noted in central and eastern Kingstead, and it also depicts the path of Edric's people through the southeastern Kingstead into Eastfold. The largest threats are marked to the west and north of Entwade, and the road to the northwest has been marked as overrun. Okay, all right, hang on. Let's see what we're talking about here. Okay, so, right, we've got the Eastfold, 
which is right south of the of uh, Snowborn and the and them down there. Idaros. So the road to the northwest. So the road up towards Stone Deans. Is this uh, okay? That's Middlemead, right? That's marked as overrun. Who's this? Oh, it's the neighborhood, right? Yeah, housing neighborhood. Okay. Westfold, over by who's this? Isengard, right? Okay. Um. So this is the gap through the Westfold over here. Okay. Elm's deep down there. Okay. The Grim Slate trying to. I don't know the map all that well up here. There's Stoke. And who's up in the north here? Oserly. Okay, right. Those are the ones I was seeing from the mountains, I think, over up there. Uh, all right. And there's Aldberg. Who else do we have down here? We also have uh, Beacon Watch. Which I always want to say, Bacon Watch and Fen March. Okay, sure. Okay. Um, All right, I gotta talk to what's to uh, right my cribbage partner over here. You know much of the threats facing us for having arrived so recently. I mean no offense, but I wish that the others had spoken with us sooner of such concerns so that plans might have already been formed. I know, right? Like communication dysfunctions. I was noticing that myself. Our men in the field likely know well of such problems, so perhaps they've already begun to work against our foes. You'd think there were, like, tens of thousands of people in this town, the way that they talk, instead of, like, seven. Uh, you know, talking about the men in the field. Yeah, like, those two blokes standing out by the river is what they mean. Um, okay. For my part, I have heard noises about town at night, though I know not where they come. I shall soon have to investigate those, but the other, the others <laughs> refuse to aid me. Sorry, I missed the noun, and so I thought that that w instead of the verb, I thought it was the noun, so I thought he was calling them refuse for a second, but that's not, in fact, what he was doing. No matter, I have dealt with worse on my own. Sirik has more to say to you, so I shall not keep you from your charge. So I was sent over here to listen to you complain, and now we go back to Sirik. Great. Womar is young and untested. The last mysterious noise he heard was a chicken making a ruckus in his shed. Uh, so such an assertion is not new to me. His spirit is strong, though, and I, I know that in time he shall become a fine warrior. Did you hear that? I believe Edric has returned and the people have set off. Great. I will go speak with him. Taking the express route down to the floor, apparently. There we go. The people are gone. Did you guys miss the boat here? Wagon train leave you guys behind? Why are there still... Who are these? Wasn't the point to send away the women? Are these guys waiting for the next train? Lounging around here like this? I mean, not that that's not an adorable tableau, because you guys are a great couple and everything, but... Really? So you, no, you don't, you're not interested. Okay. Oh, sorry, just walked right over you. That was rude. Um, where's Thane Edric? Oh, is he actually in the meat hall and I missed him? Maybe their shield maiden. Oh yeah, he is. Sorry, yeah, I missed you down here. Maybe they're shield maiden ninjas. Yeah. It's possible. Hey there, Edric. Hmm. 
Right. Yeah. No, you mentioned that. Uh, Leif Lod and the others have begun their journey. I pray that their travel is swift and unhindered, and I shall send word to them in Aldberg when such time is afforded me. Okay. We'll speak of other matters. Okay. Um... Leoflada, my people, have been sent off to Aldberg, and my hope is that they shall arrive, having encountered nary a trouble. Their safety weighs heavily upon me. I have held the wade for many years, and I would not have sent them away if I saw not the danger approaching from all sides. Truly, this town is not well defended from the from the west, right? I mean, it's um, uh, clearly designed to defend the crossing of the river, but if the foes come in from the other side, they're in trouble. Uh, okay, all right. As it stands, uh, sorry, yet I wish Theoden had done more to aid us. He could have secured Kingstead before leaving us to fend for ourselves among so many foes. No, 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 he couldn't. I mean, earlier, yeah, but uh, no, he really had to ride. You don't want the army that's marching now to not meet him in the field and be diverted to Helm's Deep. Um, if he didn't do that and those 10,000 orcs marched straight across the plain, you would, you would regret that. As it stands, he has left his niece to handle his affairs here, but I think her no more likely to lead him, uh, to lead than him, even spared the venomous whisperings of Wormtongue. Dude, don't you want, don't you be dissing on Eowyn? This, of course, brings me to you. You have come to our lands and aided my people well. There are many matters to attend in Antwade, and all of them of dire importance. Okay. All right, we've got a whole bunch of things to do. I understand. Let's get to the dire things. Uh... Oh, so there are dire things to do, but you're not going to tell me what they are. Okay. Thanks for the cryptic hint. Okay, hey there, Gifo. What, what's up with you? <laughs> okay. Uh, would you do me a favor? Thane Edric has asked that the homes of those who departed today be boarded up to protect them from any assaults. I would complete this task myself, but I, and I am certain many others, would like to prepare the defenses. Sure. Um, so you're going to send me to do all the menial tasks. How did I know? If you would aid us, I have already set out the planks near the homes that need... Okay. Just hammer them into place. Sure. Sure. Okay. And I think that... Uh, play cribbage with, cribbage with Womar... As Cyric said, I have heard noises coming from the privies. Dude. But I've not been able to track their source. Cyric and the others think me mad, but I know that something has taken up hiding in Entwaite, in the privies. Ah, uh, we shall rid the privies of their lingering, lurking threats. Okay, I'll investigate the privies. Search the privies in Entwaite. That's a wonderful quest. Okay. Yep. Oh, only the highest and most heroic quests shall I take upon myself. Okay, I will check all of the privies. Not capable of finding the stairs on the way down, apparently. Um, Griffith, what is up with you here? Come on now. Get yourself together. Okay. All right. Um, anybody else need... Uh, oh, I guess I can board up houses. Oh, no, it's the privy. Really? Wow. That's a super nice privy. It's enormous, for one thing. What is this, like a 10-seater in there? What? Do, I mean, yeah, exactly, Phil. It's got to be an eight holer, right? I mean, I mean, what do you have? A whole set of lounge furniture in there as well? Wow, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just impressed, and a thickly thatched roof ah uh, so I have been found out 
I shall save you the trouble and present myself to Edric before he can misunderstand my intentions. Were you just, were you using the privy? Is that, is that what I found out? I am so confused right now. Okay. I found out that the privy was occupied. That's what I found out. Okay, no, this is where I'm supposed to board stuff up. Okay, here's planks. Great. Board up the homes. I'm just, so I'm just, I'm just plank collecting. I'm not, I'll just, first I'll plank collect. And then I'll board, I guess. Okay. Where are all the other guys I'm supposed to be helping? More planks. Hmm. Okay. No, nobody here wants help. Can't wait to see the other privies. Not a sentence I normally utter, but. Okay, let's see. We got some more planks here. Okay, Sam Burke wants to know who is my favorite dwarf in The Hobbit? And on a related topic, who's my favorite uh, of the seven dwarves in Snow White? I haven't seen Snow White in a really long time. Um. Uh, I think Sneezy is my favorite dwarf in Snow White. Um, you know, you got to feel for the guy. Man, I got all kinds of issues here. See, now that, that looks like a privy right there. What is that? A torch sconce? Well, that's kind of handy. Looks like the... This cow looks like he's looking at me like, are you jumping the queue? Okay. All right. See, this is a more sensible... This is what I would have expected, right? Like, that might be a one hole. It's still a little bit spacious. You just don't need all that much room uh, in your standard privy. A chicken appears. Okay, see, and, all right, now this cow's coming up like, all right, let's see if chicken's out. It's my turn. Okay, guys, I'll leave you to it. Why would you build a privy in the... Like, could you not find a more convenient spot? Is it actually designed for the livestock? Maybe in Rohan it's designed to take your horse with you. Uh, well, maybe. Okay, oh, oh, hang on. Hark. I spy planks. What I have not yet spied, though, are more quests. I've only found, what, two of them? Okay. Now I get... The oh. And just having found the planks, they've now leapt up onto the windows. I thought I was going to have to hammer them. Well, all right, fine. Fine. Now, the real question. Where is the third privy? Edoras, apparently. Just kidding. I know that that's not really what that is. but Okay, that's the massive mega privy. Where else? This town is just not that big. The privies are big, but the town is not. Um, and I can't find anybody to give me a quest, and I can't find another privy. <laughs> This is weird. Uh, 
Uh, is there a privy out behind the mead hall? Oh, wait, there it is. There it is. They put them off in the corner. So I'm looking like somewhat near the houses. Would you really want to trek out all like in the middle of the night, in the middle of winter? And it's not even one. This is obviously a privy, but it's not one of the privies. It is not one of the chosen and selected privies, apparently. Okay, there's there it is. There it is. Set up against the rocks. Okay. All right. Ooh, flies. A snarling orc bursts forth. Hey there, snarling orc warrior. Ah, you've got the red eye, so you are a Mordor Uruk. You one of Grishnok's lads? What level are you, 87? Oh, you're catching up with me. Okay. Well, there we go. Yeah, I know you don't want them right outside your door. I agree with that. But, uh, but yeah, I mean... <laughs> JJ says I'd give it a minute after that guy. Yeah, I hear you, man. I hear you, man. I think... Uh... So, now I have to talk to Thane Edric to see if, like, that guy had repented of using the privy. Okay, maybe I have to complete these quests before anybody else will give me any other quests, because I've still literally not seen anybody else with a quest to give me. All right, Gifil. I boarded up the houses, or rather, I got the boards, and then they did their thing. I liberated the boards. I set them free to follow their own destinies, which was apparently boarding up houses. Okay, when this war is finally ended and our people can return, they can rest easy knowing that our foes did not invade their homes to any vile end. Okay. All right, Womar. There was an orc in the privy. There was a chicken in the privy. Okay. Orcs hiding in the town, unthinkable. And as for this man you found, Thane Edric will not be pleased that one of his people was left behind. What about the people lounging by the road right next to Thane Edric? Okay. All right. We'll speak more of this, I suppose. I hope so. Okay. Great. So I've completed... I love the border of these of these rugs. Um, all right, Thane Edric. <clears throat> You uh, you sit there, and I will. It says in theory I'm just like positively surrounded by quest rings, but I can't find a one. I can't get into the barn. Can't get into the privies. They're all occupied. Head west on the road? But isn't that sending me to Edoras? No, it's not. Okay. All right. Fine. I thought that was the Adoros quest. Uh, I see. Right, right. Okay. Uh, here we go. Uh, I said stop. Carry on. I said stop. All right. What do we have here? Oh, hey. Uh, it's, a little, it's a little intimate there. Okay. What are we, what are we looking at here? Oh, him? See the target? I heard word of a hardy burglar that had come to Entwade. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, that's me. 
You know, normally people aren't so happy when a burglar comes to town, but I'm glad you guys are a little more open-minded. I have little time for introductions, but I'm Kenbert. Thane Edric has sent me to patrol the road to Middlemead, but I've met some resistance. The Uruks lurk all around us here, and I doubt myself seen. And I doubt myself seen? That's really interesting. I don't remember another instance of that in Lotro text. The word doubt uh, is one of those really fun words where, of course, it means like to question the truth of something, right? Um, but the, uh, the archaic usage of it, the older usage of it, is as a synonym for the word believe. Um, so you would say something like, you know... Uh, I doubt they've seen me, not meaning I don't think they have, but rather I believe that they have, um, uh, you know, you think yourself very smart. I doubt, right? Um, uh, I believe. So the word doubt means I don't believe. And it also means I believe, uh, which admittedly can be sometimes confusing. Um, so. <laughs> I see uh, uh, some of you expressing some skepticism that Grifflet's boarding up of the windows is going to is going to thwart utterly raiding orcs uh, in their pillaging. Uh, well, you know, I think your doubts are unfounded. But anyway, I don't remember them doing that before because I doubt myself seen. Sounds like he means I think I've been seen. Well, no, maybe not. Maybe he's saying, I doubt myself seen. Maybe, maybe he means it in the modern sense, that he doesn't think they've seen him yet. Okay. Still an odd way to say it, if that's what you mean. It sounds much more like the older usage. But um, anyway, okay. Yeah, I should take the other ones off the quest track, or just do them. But anyway, okay. Uh, patrol along the road and I will hold my position here. If you can find any sign of traitors or their goods, we'll need to act swiftly. Okay. Oh, and more. The Uruks cannot be allowed to lay claim to our trade routes and goods. There must be some reason for their wanton violence, and I fear they will use the resources of our rich lands against us. Okay, slay Uruks. Those near the carts will likely have pillaged our goods. Okay, so I need to... Oh, wait, yeah, I can't right-click, but I can do that. Just remind me when it's time to move on that I need to go back to those quests. Okay. Wait, there's more right around here? What, does his horse have a quest, too? Hmm. Okay, fine. I will... Guess I gotta get on my horse. Yeah, I, it looks like they're pure vector quests, I agree. Uh, I, just, I just... Okay, the road is barren. Apart from, you know, all the riders surrounding me here. Wrecked carts and ransacked goods. Oh, man. Got some crops here. Ah, uh, here. Let's see. Amid the wreckage, you have discovered a crate of crops. If more crates remain intact, such supplies would be of great value. Agreed. I will correct collect crates. All right, I guess I'll just, I'll stay on foot here then. Uruks dart about atop dark horses, stealing goods from their recent kills. Oh, these are the ones I'm supposed to fight and like loot their corpses of food? Unfair trade, yes they are. 
Yes, they are. All right. Okay. Oh, but I didn't, Sam, I didn't answer about who's my favorite dwarf uh, uh, in The Hobbit. I just answered the Snow White question. Um, is it the ambushers? There are a bunch of you. Um... Okay, uh, so my favorite dwarf in The Hobbit, well, Balin. I mean, if I'm being honest, it's Balin. I would kind of like to say someone less obvious, but I always loved Balin. Um, you know, Balin won my heart as a child when he picks Bilbo up. in his When Bilbo comes up with a cup and he picks Bilbo up and carries him out. I mean, like, that is just so adorable. Uh, so, yeah, I've always loved Balin most. It's, um, I, I read The Lord of the Rings very, well, not very young. There are people very younger than me, but I was, you know, I was like eight uh, when I read it. And um, uh, it's one of the few things, one of the few memories that I retain is being upset. Not, I mean, I don't think I like actually broke down in tears, but I was moved by uh, the, oh, no, no, stand down, dear. Um, I was, I was moved by the fact, by Balin's death, by the finding the tomb of Balin. I remember being upset about that. It is hard not to like Balin. Did I cast my hood over my face? Uh, I, I, had I been wearing a hood, I'm sure I would have done so. But yeah, that was pretty much... I was feeling Gimli's reaction. Um, okay. Uh, so let's see. More lore quests. Lore questions. Oh, so I, Matt's question is a really interesting one. Matt is talking about the linguistic associations in Lotro. So he says, you know, the naming conventions... Uh, among the Dunlendings, you know, associate in Lotro, associate the Dunlendings with the Welsh uh, and the Angmarim with the Irish. Um, and so he's asking me what I think in general about the um, Lotro naming uh, convention, you know, names and nationalities. Um, I really like the Dunlending and the Welsh. Uh, that's, I mean, that associating them with, uh, um, you know, these sort of like, you know, Welsh or, or Celtic uh, names, I think is, 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 I mean, obviously the best one um, in, there we go, the best one in the game, the, it was the most obvious choice, but also, you know, none the worse for that. Um, is uh, the of course um, the uh, use of Finnish for the um, why am I blanking? Maybe I'm doing too many things at once. You know the name of those dudes who live in the north. Oh no, this is a, a pillager. You're not even gonna have goods. You don't even have goods, do you? You're just wasting my time. The loss off. Thank you. Oh, seriously, I think I need sleep. But um, well, I feel pretty pretty confident of that actually. Um, okay, no, no, no. Uh, boy, it really wants me to attack that deer. Okay, how many? Uh, so I have. I need two more crates of of crops. One more ambusher. Okay. Um, so yeah, the um, 
that choice that to use Finnish for the law south was a was a brilliant choice. Of course, Finnish, as most of you know, uh, was a language that Tolkien loved. Um, he didn't know it well. Well, he says he didn't know it well, which means, of course, he. Uh, Tolkien had fairly high standards when it came to you know language familiarity. Um, you know, he wouldn't have considered himself you know, like an expert in a language, you know, to say that he had really mastered the language until he was at a pretty high level indeed. Um, okay, all right, now you come back here, Mr. Black Arrow. I'm not going to have you... Oh, stop doing that thing where you just run away and, like, lead me into other... I hate it when they do this. Stop and let me kill you already. Okay. All right, fine. There we go. Um, but, yeah, so anyway, Tolkien loved Finnish, um, did not consider himself an expert, and he was kind of a, you know... They've all regened, and they're all going to... I've got a better idea. But he's not going to go away. He's just going to sit there. In okay, Here we go. Thank you for riding off a little bit. And now I can stealth. Okay, fine. Yikes. Okay. Uh, finish this one. I've recovered many crops. Great. Um, but that didn't count. Didn't count as one of the seven. It's just an extra quest. Okay. Um, uh, So does all that count as one quest, Kenbert? Really? No, you had two. You mourn for the people of Middlemead, and I hope that such loss will not continue to visit our lands. We must form a plan. Okay, well, I've already salvaged a whole bunch, but okay. Along the road, I have seen many foes. None were greater than the Uruk who guarded the stockpile of pillaged goods. He rode atop a thickly armored steed and bore weapons of the finest make. He has no doubt stolen these tools from our traders, caught ferrying blades of the stone deans back to Kingstead. I know not if this Uruk is their leader or merely one of their mightiest, but he must be slain if Entwade is to be prepared for the coming attack. Okay. Ride to their stockpile and slay him when you draw his attention. All right. I think that stockpile must be the little orc camp I saw from a distance over here. Yes, that one. Oh, there's that very... There's that deer again. Find and defeat Asgaja, huh? Asgaya? Asgaja. Hmm. I don't know. There's a backpack here, though. Wow. They have gotten a bunch of stuff here. I shall avenge the carrots of east of Westfold. Eastfold. No, we're not in Eastfold. Where are we? Broad Acres. What do we have? Radishes. They've taken the radishes, too. And the artichokes. The fiends. Somebody dropped a backpack. I can take care of that. All right. Um, so, um, how do I... 
get the attention of uh, Asgaja here. Yeah, the orcs clearly are vegetarians, or maybe that's why those things, there's so many of them, because they're not eating them. Oh, no, they've got a bunch of hams over here. Uh, and um, some more radishes and berries? I don't know. Well, it does say I have to find him, that that's difficult, so... Oh, wait, there's a going chest outside the wall? Ah, I didn't notice that. What is this? A stolen crate? Is that blood? A blood-spattered stolen crate. If I take this crate... Oh, I see. Thank you for... But well, he's uh, being really casual. We're going to have a walking combat? Okay. Let's have a walking combat. No, you don't really want to do that, do you? Oh, I'm attacking the crate. That's probably less good. Wow. Okay. How about that? Where's that? Is that this one? Yeah, that's this one. I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna keep hiding till that dude wanders off. I don't want to fight them both at once, that's for sure. There are a lot of them around here. Okay, let's try this again. All right, Eskaja. I gotta remember my other traits. Uh, sacrifice, right? Well, there's that. Who's this? Um, your next non-self-targeted skill will move you directly to... Okay, whatever. Um, break free? Okay. Should it ever need breaking free? Okay. None of those seem especially helpful. Uh, maybe have a snack first. That seems like a plan. Well, actually, if uh, this is going to be a difficult battle, we can actually prepare here. Seems like a good idea. All right. Okay. Oh, wait, hang on. Maybe we can do this. What do you say? Look at this. I got, I got all these consumables. In even increase my mounted speed. Okay. Can I feed carry on a snack? Is that a thing? If it is, I don't know, I don't know about it. Okay. Trying not to aggro the other dude. Well, this is going better than the last time. Stop trying to get me to aggro other guys. That's obnoxious. You coward. Stop killing my horse. Ow! Did not see him in the dark. And he's got a bow. 
But I'm not even hitting him. Okay, I am, but barely. The second horseman constantly shooting me is just the worst. Hmm. Things were going fine until we picked up the second guy. Yeah. Really annoying. Really annoying. Okay. All right. Let me see <clears throat> what we can do here. First of all, what time is it? It's only evening? It just got night? Oh, man. So not being able to see the other guys in the darkness is part of my problem. Oops. I didn't actually see him there. Hang on. All right, keep your shirt on. I'm getting my horse. Now, can we just do a, decor a de nice decorous circle here? That's what I would like. Stop it. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> you think stinking around at night would make it easier for a burglar? Yeah, if what I were doing were anything burglarious. All right. I'm just waiting to heal first. Could I take him on on foot? I wonder. I could try that. Would he stay in one spot? See, I don't think he's going to ride out of range. I think he's going to kill me pretty quickly. If I take him on on foot. Yeah? We'll give it a shot. Okay, well, we're doing at least as well, that's for sure. Nice. Excellent. And we're fine. Okay, there we go. Nice, that went well. That went well. Okay. See, I don't usually try that because normally when I have, it, um, you know, leads to that f really awkward situation where they're just, you know, galloping around and sweeping in and hitting you and then you can't do anything. If I were like a hunter or something, I would do it, shoot them from a distance while they're swooping around. But uh, I don't ever remember one just kind of standing there and fighting me toe to toe like that. That was handy. All right. We're 
dismounting. Okay. There's a whole bunch of unclaimed radishes just up the road. Okay, now you can redouble your efforts because you've got plenty of radishes. Hey, yeah, no problem. I took care of that guy. He was kind of fierce, but in the end, it was fine. Okay, only two more left. This way, apparently. Somewhere in the vague direction of the privy. Yep, I think the quest is taking me to this privy up here. <laughs> no, 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 it's past the privy. Okay. Okay. All right, what are, you, what are we looking at here? Aha. No quarter in the Westham net. As you have no doubt heard from Thane Edric. Orcs have crossed the Wade into our lands from the Sutcrofts. They know not what has driven them here. We know not. But they cannot remain, for their numbers will bolster the already sizable forces of the White Hand. They bear queerly adorned armor, but beneath it they appear frailer than most we have seen thus far. It is my thought that Reeve Fostred and his men drove them off, though I would imagine Edric would take him to task for not slaying all of their number. We cannot abide them near our border. Ride south of Entwade along the edge of the river and slay them, for however gaunt they appear, it may well be a mercy. For how gaunt they appear, I see. Okay, so I've uh, got to put some starving orcs out of their misery, I guess. I grow concerned... Uh, in Thane Edric's fervor to protect the crossing, we have forgotten that our crofters have gone and our rations must be preserved. In other times, such things were not a problem, but with the coming of the orcs from the Sutcrofts, I fear that our easiest source of food may be at risk. I speak, of course, of fish. Along the river Entwash, we have a great many nets in place to trap fish as they swim downstream. However, the orcs are a rough, vile lot, and I worry they have destroyed or befouled our fish and nets. They're going to pause on their fleeing to befoul the fish. If you would, venture to the river's edge and search the nets. If any fish remain, the men could benefit greatly. Okay. All right. I will look for... Okay, so here's the end of the... Uh... Hmm. Who's this? Oh, you're a starving orc warrior. Ah, you were eating a horse? I guess he was hungry enough to eat a horse. Hmm. Okay, you know what I'm thinking? These guys are proving sufficiently difficult to kill. I mean, not impossible to kill, of course, but sufficiently challenging to kill that I think I'm going to... Because I'm now only three levels up from them. So I think I'm going to... undo my thing. Where's my little bauble? There it is. I'm going to untortoise myself. There we go. I'm going to bury the horses. That's nice of me. The fallen horses must have been stolen away as they wandered the fields. Oh, man. Yeah. I am no risk to one-shot these guys anymore, so I'm going to... Go ahead and level up to 92, I guess. All 
All right. Let's see. What level LI uh, am I using? I've not updated my LIs in a while. You know how long it's been since Grifflet has found a burglar one? Um, let's see. What's up with my LIs? I'm using... Oh, man. Level 75? Okay, well, that explains it. Yep, time to upgrade, I think. But yeah, like my LIs, I just, I'm like, I got no LIs, like completely blank. I have not found a burglar LI in ages. All right. So we can bear it. Oh, there are the fish nets. How many more of the? Let's see, I've, I've got several more horses to bury. Okay. Yep. Yeah, no, I do need to update that. As I say, Griffith has had a, a run of bad luck with his uh, LI discoveries. Well, that's why yeah, I haven't really bothered. To, I mean, I haven't gone out of my way to like hunt for or make new. I certainly haven't had time to make. Uh, I haven't had time to do crafting in ages, but, um, but yeah, I haven't gone out of my way. I've been, I've been, I generally, I mean, Grifflet has generally <clears throat> operated on drops for his allies. But as I say, he's just uh, had a lot of bad luck when it comes to that. Okay, and how many starving orc warriors? Oh, yeah, you're my last one. Nice. Okay. There we go. Look at that XP. All right, so now I will. Do the nets. Yep, no, I don't mind. I would again, I normally stay ahead of the LI thing, but not seen it as a massive priority. Combat being just a touch more efficient would be nice. I always prefer to minimize combat. I guess they haven't defiled these nets, huh? that that's what I wanted okay all right 
right. Now back we go. No luck on getting the map. Well, no, no. It, it just continues. The mouse issue is still the same. But it's okay. It's, you know, it forced me to be a little more creative. All right, I think this is us done. You know, those huge windows on the side of the Mead Hall are really interesting. I mean, I don't think I like it because you don't generally want a huge window like that, but they've got all these ground floor windows around the side anyway. I mean, the Mead Hall is meant to be the place that you go in and defend, you know, at the last if the town is uh, under assault, but they have all these ground floor windows. I don't worry, I punished a bunch of them. Uh, you have removed another threat facing me, and I'm for the, the grateful, though I have no love for Theoden. Oh, you know, don't be hard on him. The orcs of the White Mountains have long lain dead, and I shall not tolerate another orc on the plain of Kingstead. Seems like a non sequitur. Oh, you mean, like, because he's kept them dead? Like, it is in, he has not failed in that? Okay. Hey, well, you're welcome for the food. Did you get the radishes? I told you about the radishes, right? With my people and our crofters to the south, the farm's not as well kept as they have been. Okay. All right. That should be it, man. My men and I are grateful for what you have done to aid us in preparing for the White Hand's next assault. Without the king's aid, we were ill-prepared for such a task, but the wade should hold. Should the wade hold, he and I will have words upon his return. Come then, we must talk of what is to be done with this man you have found. Oh, what, the guy in the privy? There remains little left to do. As for the man you found hiding in town, while well, he cleverly evaded my men in the huge privy. That was clever. He will still need to rejoin the others in Aldberg. The roads can be traveled in numbers, but I would not send him south alone. If you would travel south with Agalmon and bring him to rejoin with Leoflod and the others. Okay. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm not collecting the awards yet. The rewards. Rally Agalmon to my side. So now I get to go on a like one on one mission with Privy Dude. Oh man, you guys are talking about imbuing now. I still like am terrified of imbuing. I don't understand it at all. I have no idea what's going on with imbuing. Yeah, I'm not even prepared to think about that. Okay. All right, Privy Man. I call him the Privy Counselor. The White Hand will return with their forces, bolstered soon enough. When the time comes, we must be prepared to defend and wait. What? See, he's the Privy Counselor now. He's letting me, letting me know what to do. I was trained in the art of swordplay by my father before his passing, as were my brothers before they traveled to aid the king. Certainly I can be of more use to the Thane here than I would be inside the walls of, of Aldberg. One man cannot tend the farms in the absence of our people, so what other purpose have I if not to defend the lands of the king? Speak to the Thane on my behalf. Okay. Your Agamemnon wants to stay. I knew well his father and his skill with the blade, but this man has always been a crofter, and though his hands be worn from his labors in the way, he is ill-equipped to battle against the Uruks and their ilk. I doubt not that he means well, but we do not have time to prepare him. Do you hear me, Agamemnon? I shall not hear such a plea, and though I apologize, you find you will find safety in Aldberg. 
Okay. Tough but fair. What do you say, Agamon? Edric is a brave man, but he can fly into a rage like no other I have known. You haven't met, have you met Fostret? We will travel south then, but I shall not merely watch these conflicts unfold in my lands. Before we depart, I wish to arm myself. If I cannot protect the Thane and Entwade, his people shall be safe behind my shield. Let us look for a sword and shield, and then we shall be on our way. Okay, Agamon. Excuse me. Uh, sorry there. Sorry, excuse me. Pardon me. Find a sword and find a shield. There were like four of them sitting right there. I just walked across them. Look, there's swords and shields. No? Okay. I've got to find an unattended sword and shield, I suppose. A little hard for me to imagine that this guy, that Edric would just be sending this guy away. Okay, so... All right, let's see what we can find, man. Aha! I bet that one's in good shape. All right, found a sword. We'll see if we can find a shield. Aha! There we go. Sword and a battered shield. There you go. Now you're good. They have seen many a battle, but such arms will aid me well enough. If Edric truly wishes me gone, we shall go. Okay. There you go. Newly kitted out. The time has come to journey south. Towards Eastfold. Okay, but hang on. I'm going to go talk to Gandalf first. Those two vector quests are weighing on my mind. Hey there, Gandalf. Coming back for a visit? Good thing Shadowfax can bear you hither and thither at such great speeds. <clears throat> okay, right. You want me to go to Broad Acres? And you want me to go to... Okay, right. The circumstances could be better, though Aemir has been freed. Word has not made its way to the East Fold. Okay, right. Tell him about Aemir. Ride to the capital, former capital, and give the people there the news. Sure. See, I was heading there anyway, and I thought you might tell me to head there. Okay. Great. Where's the stable master? Right here. So convenient. Okay, now. I'm going to... Get rid of the Broad Acres one, because I'm not ready to go there yet. Okay, back to Entwade. And then we'll head south towards Aldberg. Next time. Because I'm out of time. But I finished Entwade, so there we go. All right. This is a manger? Okay. Manger and trough. Nice. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Well, so I think I'm going to end here because I've got to run. 
Um, but uh, oh, I think I finished. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well, who knows? We'll see if we wait. At least we're headed down uh, uh, along the road to Aldberg. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but thanks everybody for joining me today. I look forward to continuing our adventures in the uh, in the Eastham Net over here. Hopefully, heading down to Eastfold and Aldberg. Big fan of Aldberg. I did. I have visited Aldberg a couple times, so uh, happy to be back down there. Um, but anyway, looking forward to continuing our questing here together. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you guys around next week. Bye now. Thanks for joining in on my rambles around Standing Stone's brilliant digital adaptation of Tolkien's world. If you enjoy these adventures, please consider supporting this and other entertaining educational programming by donating at signumuniversity.org fund.